Hello and welcome to page 90 of Anatomy Coloring Book. This is Dr. Harkins. We've talked a lot about sensory receptors and afferent input into the central nervous system. These impulses that travel along the neurons, sending information from the body to the central nervous system. And all of this occurs through sensory receptors. Sensory receptors. So this lesson is going to be talking about the different types of sensory receptors. And here is the basic model that we have been operating under. The idea that there's a receptor here found where? In the skin, the muscle, in various places throughout the body, everywhere throughout the body. And it's stimulus, there's a stimulus, could be a, a pinprick, could be pressure, could be temperature, could be hot, could be cold, could be anything. And that stimulus will follow along the sensory axon. Of course, this is the an afferent sensory nerve. And here's the dorsal root, there's the um, cell body of the of the axon or of the neuron. And of course, the synapse in the spinal cord where at the dorsal horn or the posterior horn, synapsing with a secondary neuron, heading up and to the thalamus, and then synapsing again with a neuron that goes to the sensory cortex of the cerebrum. And that's the basic. Uh, afferent uh, sens sensory pathway. Of course, in the cortex, the cerebral cortex is the place where this sensation is interpreted by the brain, conscious interpretation. Another route that we've talked about is the simple reflex, you know, where there, uh, right, that occurs right at the spinal cord which goes directly back this way and causes your leg to kick, for example, uh, or your hand to move away from the hot surface. The first type of receptor we'll talk about are the free nerve endings. Free nerve endings. They are called exteroreceptors because they're located near the body surface. Um, towards the outer part of the body. And of course, X, X means outer. And here's an example of an exteroreceptor, a free nerve ending right here. Look at all these branches, receptors. And then the axon of the receptors heading toward the central nervous system, toward the spinal cord, toward the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. Free nerve endings, as you can see over here, are responsible, are found in the epidermis. This is this outer layer of skin. It's the very, very thin outer layer of your skin, as you know, and responsible for um, thermal reception for hot and cold, mechanoreceptors, light touch, and nociception, which is pain. Um, also, they wrap around the hair follicles and can sense the movement of your hair shaft. So you can see the skin is richly innervated with free nerve endings of all different types. Pain, light touch, hot, cold, etc. A special type of free nerve ending is called a Merkel cell, and it is located in the basal layer of the epidermis, the bottom layer of the epidermis, and it is responsible for light touch, and it's unique in that they say that it is it has a hormonal function. It, it releases hormones or nerve neurotransmitters um, 
that suggest it might be part of the endocrine system as well. Some of the receptors do not have branching out type of projections like or finger-like or spider-like projections like the free nerve endings. These extero receptors are encapsulated. You can see they look a little different here, don't they? Encapsulated, for example, Meisner's corpuscles, which is an encapsulated sensory receptor, which is also responsible for touch tactile sensation sensitive to touch tactile stimuli. Another encapsulated sensory receptor is the Ruffini corpuscle found in the deeper skin in the dermis and it's, it, it senses greater amounts of pressure such as mechanical forces stretch and twisting found in the thicker skin sensitive to not just light touch, but a deeper touch and a deeper, uh, deeper mechanical forces. And here's an example below of a free nerve ending wrapping around the hair follicle, sensing movement along the shaft of the hair. So if you were to brush the hair on your arm very, very lightly, you would feel, you would activate these free nerve endings wrapping around the shaft, and that's how you can feel the movement even of the hairs of your arm and body. Deeper in the superficial fascia and, be and below that in the muscles and joints, we have other types of receptors. Proprioceptors are found in the fascia, tendons, ligaments, joint capsules, and muscles. First example here is a Pacinian corpuscle, which is sensitive to very, very deep pressure. And you'll notice it is obviously in the deeper below the dermis of the skin in the superficial fascia. And that's the Pacinian corpuscle. Found in the muscles now, we have what are called muscle spindles. Muscle spindles. If you were to take a little section of the muscle and sort of split it open, you would see the sort of special muscle cells intertwining around the muscle fiber. And by their sort of coiled shape, you can see what they would be sensitive to. They'd be sensitive to any stretch in the muscle. And in fact, that's what they are. They are muscle stretch receptors. Muscle spindles are stretch receptors responding to shortening and lengthening of the muscle. So of course, muscle spindle fibers are found in the muscles. But in this tendon right here, the triceps tendon, the muscle uh, tendon for the triceps muscle, it looks like, is if you cut out a section of this tendon, notice that there is another receptor deep inside there. It is not encapsulated. This is called a Golgi tendon organ. Golgi. It's a neurotendinous receptor, a type of proprioceptor, Golgi, G-O-L-G-I, tendon, organ. And it also is responsible for stretch. 
Golgi, neurotendinous Golgi tendon organ. And it's located near the musculotendinous junction. So in the tendon, so around here's the muscle. Here's the tendon right here, this long tendon. So they'd be found in this area of any musculotendinous junction, the place where a muscle and a tendon meet. Tendons attach muscles to bones. Now there's one final type of receptor that's not pictured here, interoreceptors, interoceptors, and they are found in the blood vessels and the viscera, uh, organs and glands in other words. And um, there are receptors that are chemical receptors, for example, uh, detecting oxygen and carbon dioxide in your blood. Baroreceptors, which um, are, receive blood pressure, measure your blood pressure, and some pain receptors. So this concludes our lesson, page 90 of Anatomy Coloring Book, Sensory Receptors. This is Dr. Stephen Harkins. Until the next lesson.